Chucking fatty clouds down here, boys. <clears throat> Hi. Do you like my Christmas outfit? I do too. Welcome to my new cooking channel, bitches. Today we're making a vegan charcuterie board because over the summer, first of all, I be watching charcuterie boards, charcuterie board videos often and I get really angry at the way people plate their charcuterie boards, the weird things that people put on charcuterie boards. Like I watched this one the other day and the girl put like guacamole on it and she put like fucking, I don't like when people put dried fruit on it. I know that's like traditional, but it just pisses me off. So I'm gonna show you how to make the best, be beautiful, beautiful best vegan charcuterie board ever. And I know what the fuck I'm doing y'all. So I would listen to me if I were you. First, 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 I'm gonna pour myself a glass of wine. Feel free to pour yourself a glass of wine as well if you're cooking along with me, you know? Over the summer I would make a charcuterie board like once a week and then me and my roommate would keep it in the fridge and just hack at it over the course of like a week. Like literally it would be like three in the morning, I would open the fridge and just like eat a block of cheese with like a piece of meat and that'd be great. So I'm gonna make one so my mommy can try it and Bill can try it. Oh, <laughs> it's already open. So my mom has been nannying my, my parrot because I went on vacation to shack up with a boy. And so she's been nannying my bird and he got fat. And then he does head again now too. I trained him to not go on my head because it pisses me off, but she let him go on her head. So now he does head again and he's fat. You wanna see him? Look at my fat bird. Look at my fat bird. You're so fat and you need to hand him. First you gotta get your board of choice. This is my board of choice, it's my mother's. And it's like a little platter, like it has little things. It's great, I'm obsessed with it. I have a really cute one at my house, but it's like literally this big. So I can't put shit on there. So I use my like dinky old cutting board sort of deal. First thing you're gonna do, always, while making any kind of charcuterie board, you have to position your cheeses first, okay? Because everything's, everything's based around the cheese. So those are like your main, those are your main girls right there, all right? So these are my favorite three vegan cheeses for a charcuterie board. There's one that's really good, um, but I couldn't find it here. It's like a, it's kind of too hard, but it's a good like charcuterie sort of cheese, but it is really hard, it's really good. I don't know the brand, um, but I couldn't find it, so I guess it doesn't even matter. I use this tree line, tree line herb garlic cheese. I'm using this, Miyoko Creamery Classic Chive Buttery and Savory Cashew Milk Cheese. Oh, someone told me that that worked. No, that made it worse. Anyways, and I'm also using this Nut and Ordinary Cracked Pepper Cashew Cheese. This is fucking flame. Okay, um, so now we're gonna plate these. I'm gonna put this one right here. Come out beautifully, come out beautiful. Oh, it's not coming out too beautifully. It's okay. Gorgeous, gorgeous girls. Oh. Mmm. -hmm. Mm. Oh. This one's sort of like creamy, like sort of like, like spreadable. So I don't know if I should take it out of the container, but I feel like I don't want the container on the board, but that one, I mean, it, got, it wouldn't look too bad. Could I just... <laughs> oh yeah, oh cute. That worked out just the way I wanted it to. That never happens in my life. Hold up guys, I'm gonna text cute boy back. Do you guys remember this dance? Holy moly donut shop. Holy moly, oh yeah. Sorry, I'm sorry I just did that. Okay, last cheese. This shit. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> oh, this is the, cr okay. Hmm. Huh. I could put it in a dish. I don't want to put it in a fucking dish. Nope. I'm gonna do it. Scoop it out with a knife, honey. Get a knife. I want, oh, oh. 
Oh, guys. You gotta scoop it out with a knife so it comes out together. Well, that's already down the drain. <laughs> so, how do I fix this problem? I already fucked it up. Okay, so I guess this cheese is just gonna be sort of a pile, which I'm not psyched about, but. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, that's that's really awkward. But you know what? It's okay. Okay, I'm not sure what to do about this mess that we have right here, but you know what? It's cheese. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? It's not the most attractive food. Is it the tastiest food? 100%. Um, so I'm just gonna leave that goop there and move on with my day. What's the point of getting all upset about it? There's no point. So next, I think, I think I'm gonna do crackers next, right? Cause it's like the next biggest thing, you know? Okay, I got three types of crackers. What did I get? I got rosemary and sea salt. Simple Mills. Uh. And then I got sun-dried tomato and basil the same brand. They look exactly the same. I shouldn't have done that. But then I got this kind too, so I guess it's fine. I got Mary's Gone Crackers Black Pepper Crackers, and I'm just going to decorate. Y'all are like, <laughs> oh my fucking God. My man is making me horn dog right now um, while I'm trying to like cut and like film. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> I think I'm gonna take some of these I'm gonna start with these rosemary shits. I don't know how to like, y'all, I don't know what I was talking about in the beginning of this video when I was like, some people's like presentation like pisses me off. I don't know how to do presentation. I never have, and it's not gonna look good. I just know it tastes best. That's what I'm good at. I'm not good at like the visual sort of thing. So I, don't really know how this is gonna go, but I'm just gonna go with my instincts and see what happens. Oh, see, that doesn't look wonderful by any means. Does it taste good? Yeah. Sure. Yeah, we'll go with that. I kinda wanna take these round ones, these black pepper round ones, and like, slap them on. Like, I don't know what I'm talking about. This is not looking great. Ooh, these are gorgeous. Look at, look at this cracker. Yeah. Mmm, okay. <laughs> I wanna taste one of these. Mm-hmm. I don't even have real I did your thing. I don't even really have room for the third type of cracker. So that's bad. I was sort of most excited for the third type of cracker, these like sun-dried tomato shit. So I think I'm gonna remove some of the rosemary ones and then add this uh, yeah. Look at me, problem solving. One of the things I like really can't do is problem solve. So, all right, it's looking a little awkward, but it's not, it's not the worst that I've seen. It's definitely not the worst. Uh, all right, next I'm gonna add meat. Um, the Whole Foods in LA has like vegan prosciutto and it looks wonderful. It's like pretty prosciutto. It has like all of the like, nice cuts for a charcuterie board, for a vegan charcuterie board. Um, this one only had the ham, and the, <laughs> the ham isn't, <laughs> isn't the most appetizing thing. It doesn't look like the most appetizing thing. Um, it tastes really good. I swear to God it tastes good. It just looks sort of vile. But that's that's okay. It all it's all just about how it tastes. But the, some Whole Foods have um, like vegan prosciutto and it's like pretty and shit. So I get that too. I also always get this because although it looks sort of questionable, it tastes really good, right? So I'm just gonna put. Where am I gonna put this now? See, I've I've overcrowded the board already. I've made things weird. All right. That's what I'm gonna do, and then I'm gonna. I'm just gonna fold each piece, I guess like that, and do do something. Oh yeah, she's looking. She's looking. <laughs> oh, 
Wait till you guys see this shit up close. No, just wait. I'm not gonna like hate on my charcuterie board before it's even done, but. Mm. Okay, next, so like normally people put like grapes on charcuterie boards and I think it's just because it looks pretty. Like it, it adds like a, a viney like sort of element to a charcuterie board, but I don't, I don't ever eat the grapes on a charcuterie board because I don't like the way it tastes with like cheese and crackers, but you know it just tastes really good with cheese? Strawberries. And I've never seen strawberries on a charcuterie board, so I'm the first. I'm breaking the world right here, guys. I'm just gonna cut them up into like maybe some thin slices. And it'll add some color. Like the grapes add color, I guess, but like they're still like dark. So I feel like this will add like a nice like pop of color, you know? You know where I learned this? Strawberries and cheese, ratatouille. The movie Ratatouille. That's where I learned that strawberries dipped in cheese. Maybe not black pepper cheese. <laughs> Never mind. I didn't wash the strawberries. But I can't, I can't say that out loud because my mom will hear me and then she won't eat it. I'm a dick. It's pesticides and bugs for, <laughs> for the whole family. <laughs> oh, see, yeah, this is, uh-huh. This is a great idea. Oh, cor- <laughs> Next, you're gonna to wanna to take a jam. I've never added jam to my charcuterie boards ever. So this is a new thing for me. I also have one other new ingredient, chocolate. I heard all the cool girls and gals and guys put dark chocolate on their charcuterie boards. So I got just like a little oat milk roasted dark chocolate and I guess I'll put that on here. I this is new, I've never put strawberries. This is all new territory for me. <clears throat> I got um, blueberry jam. Look at this cute little hat that it has on. Um, and I'm just gonna take the whole jar, I guess. I wish I had a contain. Let me see if my mom has like a container I can put it in, like a little glass jar. It's not looking good. Mom, do you have like a little glass like tiny bowl of some sort. She's running. Cause I don't want to put the jam just like in the jar on the board. Like I want it to be in like a little clear like. It looks cute in the jar though, cause that's a cute jar. I know, but something about it is turning me off. Don't look at my board when you come over here. It's ugly. <laughs> I was really hyping myself up in the beginning of this video. Okay, this is the dish we're working with and I really can't fit it, <clears throat> but I'm gonna make it work. Oh yeah, okay. And I'm gonna put the jam in there, right? Mm-hmm. Oh my God, yeah. <sighs> Getting better, I, I guess, like I'm, <laughs> Okay, next is this chocolate. I've literally, I've never, I don't understand. I mean, I guess like, how should I like break it? Yeah, I should probably break it up and just scatter it around like. Now I'm just gonna take some almonds. I don't know if people put like other nuts on their charcuterie boards besides almonds, but this is, this is my personal favorite bite of a charcuterie board. Disregarding the chocolate and all the new shit that I added, Cracker, cheese, a piece of ham, and an almond. Y'all, I don't even, and I don't even eat almonds like that. Like, I don't even really eat any nuts like that, but like, an almond with some cheese and a cracker is unbeatable, and I have no idea why. I, I, I just like to like sprinkle the almonds around like this. Oh. <laughs> There's a lot going on on this charcuterie board and I feel like it's missing something. Um, you guys wanna see it? Okay, it's done. It's not the prettiest thing in the world, but I'm not the prettiest thing in the world either and I have a good personality. 
She has lots of flavors. She has lots of personality. She's meaty. She's thick. But it's not the, it's, she's not the prettiest. But that's okay. Life isn't all about looks. Um, I was talking really big game in the beginning of this video, but I'm gonna show you what it looks like, and then I'm gonna have my mom come downstairs and try it, and we're gonna all try it together, like a, one big fucking happy family. Okay. Right. <laughs> come downstairs and try it. She's not the prettiest thing in the world, but, but I'm not the prettiest thing in the world either, and you still love me. Yeah, you both have good personalities, right? <laughs> Oh, this is her. Great. I love it. Let me explain to you what's going on on this board. It looks really good. Even though it's very self-explanatory. Come, come, come. We got some. Good. We got some crackers. These are mm -hmm. sun-dried tomato. I love it. These are rosemary. Mm -hmm. These are not sure. Okay. Got some cheeses, some chive, mm. some not sure garlic right. and cheese. It looks lovely. Some blueberry jam. Mm -hmm. Some strawberries, some almonds. I love it. When can we eat? Dark chocolate. <laughs> and I was telling the people before you mm -hmm. try that my favorite bite, you do whatever you want, but at some point you're going to have to try this bite. Mm -hmm. My favorite bite is a cracker with cheese, mm -hmm. like half a slice of this ham and an almond. Okay. Okay. All right. Let's try it. I'm going to do this one. It looks I'm fucking good. I'll just copy you. Okay. I have a little cheese knife. Look how cute this Oh my God, that's so cute. I told you. That's why you need me. Yeah. There. <laughs> okay. And then an almond. All right. <laughs> yes. Ooh. Oh, you already gave me some. And an almond? Yeah. Oh, okay. Abby? Mmm. 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 Very good. Marty, come and get it. Marty, you want to try a little bit? It's batting you up for Christmas. Now Marty's going to try. Mmm. Mm. Delicious. Oh. <clears throat> Marty loves soft cheese. Have you seen the size mm -hmm. of that bird lately? <laughs> <laughs> How much is he supposed to weigh when he's grown up? I don't know. Is it mommy approved? Excellent. It's oh really my good. god. Charlie, get off mm. me board. Charlie, find a home. Not necessarily this one. <laughs> These are good. I'm gonna get flagged for new today. Yeah, you should. A cat. Oh, right. It's a nude cat. Boys. Thanks for watching. The moral of this of this video is you don't have to be the prettiest as long as you have a good personality and good flavor. Um, you're gonna rock in this world. You're gonna rock on in this world. Merry fucking Christmas. Go make a charcuterie board and tag me in it. Don't make a real charcuterie board. You're vile if you do so. Make this, tag me, and have a fucking great Christmas. If you want to get my merch, I will link it down below. I have a phone case out. I'll link that down below. My Instagram is Tara's World. My TikTok is Tara's World. My OnlyFans is It's Tara's World or Tara's Tits. <laughs> if you want to see these knockers, these double D knockers, just fucking kidding. Um, that's my OnlyFans. I'm not going to tell you my Twitter or my Snapchat. Those are of new, no use to you. I don't use them. Um, love you. Love you so much. Let me give you a fat kiss. Mwah. Mom? Yes. Would you like to give them a kiss? I'll just kiss you. Mm -hmm. Duh. Mm -hmm. Merry Christmas. We're going to probably eat this entire thing in like 24 hours. Um, yeah. See ya.